I think the United States and uh, the UK both uh, are concerned or profess a concern towards Huawei that has to do with uh, security issues, largely a lacking security posture in Huawei products, which don't seem to be engineered with a high security standard. This is not to say that they intentionally introduce weaknesses, but that they don't necessarily spend the requisite effort to rule them out. And also Huawei's susceptibility to influence uh, by the Chinese state. That being said, um, if you look at the situation more closely, there are two things at play here. The first is that um, any uh, nation with a local telecommunications uh, giant that is able to um, export critical network infrastructure will end up gaining some control over that infrastructure. And in fact, if you look at the Snowden documents, you will see that the exact fears that are being projected upon Huawei by the US and the UK and other members of the Five Eyes Alliance um, are using or have, have relied in the past on the same uh, techniques uh, by exploiting uh, market dominance of uh, these um, critical hardware systems that are being used to provide internet networking all over the world. Uh, one famous case, for example, is the BeSafe algorithm that was rolled out. There were also backdoors in the Juniper networks, devices and VPNs. Um, so this is just perhaps a matter of projection. And at the same time, uh, there is very much a competitive element. If you look beyond Huawei, if you look at the US um, banning Huawei devices from using uh, Google software on their phones um, or um, uh, Intel doing business uh, with some of these companies or even banning uh, companies that aren't very related to Huawei, such as uh, ZTE, which is another smartphone manufacturer. It does seem like uh, there is a um, severe fear, perhaps justified, but uh, a bit uh, premature, that there could be a, a significant challenge to the technical supremacy of the US when it comes to uh, owning and rolling out the hardware for the internet, uh, separate from actually owning the cloud, as you say, and the internet itself. Alex Blumenrosen, you agree? Uh, I do, but I I, I see that I mean, there this is, is more about market share than, than it is about... Oh. No, it's not. It's, it's not just about market share. It's certainly about who owns the internet and what happens to the data that comes out of the internet. Uh, but the situation vis-a-vis -vis Europe, of the United States, and of China uh, are not the same. And we can't uh, putting them in the one basket would be mixing up apples and oranges. Uh, the United States is a European ally and is a liberal democracy. Uh, there are checks and balances. There are elections. Uh, China uh, is not. Uh, and so that difference, and I'm not saying that uh, this difference um, um, is, is determinative, uh, but it needs to inform the debate and the negotiations between the various countries. And so the, the debate over privacy uh, between Europe and China will be very different from the debate um, with, uh, with the United States.